guys and ghouls, so today I'm going to be repainting this fortune teller which I picked up in TK Maxx but you can also find her in HomeSense and she's a little light up fortune teller and her ball swirls, some little smoke swirls within it. When I saw her I absolutely loved the concept but the colour put me off so today I thought I would give her a little paint. I'm going to be using acrylic paints, um, I'm thinking of giving her red hair and some black clothing, kind of sprucing up her fingernails and making her eyes slightly less scary. I'm filming outside just because I am not at home and therefore I don't have my usual painting at the station but I'm going to be covering the table just to make sure I have no paint in it. I have my big <laughs> bag of acrylic paints and a couple of paint brushes and some water so I'm just going to be slowly adding to her. I thought I'd make like a little time lapse with breaks just to explain what I've done. So welcome along this journey of turning this purple fortune teller into something a little bit more spooky. Can you be more spooky, please? Hi, guys. Oh. Hi, guys. Yeah. Today, we're going to be painting stuff. Go away. So, I'm just going to start by taking all the wires off and inspecting exactly what this is all about. Okay, so I've painted her, <laughs> the fronts of her sleeves. So down here, I've left her cuffs, so I'm gonna do those. Um, I think I'm gonna do those a different color. I'm not quite sure yet, so I've just left them. Um, I've just found another tube of acrylic paint because my other one had run out. So I'm now gonna do the back using a slightly bigger brush because there's not so any kind of fine details to work around. <laughs> Okay, so I've painted her whole um, coat jacket thing um, black now. There's little kind of purple bits which keep showing through as it dries, but it's pretty much covered. I'm thinking about maybe putting like a bat or something on the back. Um, I'm not too sure yet. I'm leaving this part black, so it's just kind of black on black. Um, I don't have any silver paint, which would be really good if I did, um, but I'm thinking of making the gold a slightly more orangey colour. Um, so I am going to paint the cuffs of her her top black now. I was going to do them orange but I think I'm going to make the gold bits orange instead if that makes sense. <laughs>
Okay, so I've painted the cuffs of her top, which <laughs> turned out to be really difficult. Um, I did get some black paint on the ball and on her hands, so what I did was I then just wet and cleaned my paintbrush, um, and then I basically just painted it with water and wiped it off, but that was quite fiddly, and there is still a little bit of like blackness to like kind of black smudges but I think once I've painted her fingernails um, that will be less prominent. I'm now going to move on to her hat which is like purple colour as well and just paint that over in black so just kind of following this same theme. So I've now painted her hat black and her clothing black. Um, I'm still not a big fan of her hair so I'm now going to paint it red. I've got the colour Scarlet and the colour Vermilion. Um, so I'm just going to mix the two and see what I can come up with. I'm going to go for like a dark red and then I think I'm going to start tackling her face. Oh and while I've got the red I'll probably do her nails. So her hair and her nails were super fiddly, um, I could have done with like a, a definitely a thinner brush would have helped. Um, I'm now going to attempt to do something with her eyes but it may not work <laughs> since I found doing the hair really difficult um, and the eyes are even smaller. Okay, so I've come inside just because it got really chilly and windy outside um, and just kind of finished off a few details like her eyebrows um, and her freckles and finished off her nails again because they all came off um, and her hat. So I'll just leave her to dry now and then I'll give you a better view of what she looks like um, once she's lit up. Okay, so she is now dried. Here is kind of how she looks like. I thought I'd just explain and show you things in a slight bit more detail, um, just cause I am aware that when I was painting it wasn't so easy to see. And I did do some of it, um, some of it off camera as well. So her headdress I just did paint 
um, completely black all the way around. I was gonna put like highlights on those circular bits, but I quite liked it just like that. I added a kind of random spiderweb pattern to this bit and a red dot, and then I painted over her red dots in <laughs> a different shade of red, and I painted all over all the gold stuff with a very light shade of orange. So coming down to her face, um, it's quite hard to see in this light, but I have painted her eyes green. I've given her some eyeliner, some little dots. Um, I also painted on her eyebrow as her eyebrow hadn't been painted on yet. Um, a little nose piercing. Um, I painted her lips slightly. And then I painted her hair different shades of red and orange, which I thought came out quite cool. Um, I painted the inside of her collar like an orangey colour and the edge is black and then I painted the rest of her clothing black and that goes all the way around so she's black on the back as well with this cute little bat. The only place you can really see purple is right behind the ball but there was nothing much I could do about that. Um, again, I painted over the gold bits with like a light orange, which made it look almost stripey. Um, the only gold that I left alone was her headdress and her earrings, just because they were very fiddly. Um, I used a paintbrush to give her a kind of freckled look, just to make her look a bit more interesting and realistic. I did follow her eye makeup around the top, but you can't really see it because she is looking down. I painted the cuffs of her um, outfit with black, which was <laughs> really tricky, and her nails are red, inspired by me. And then I also have <laughs> these little dots. Well, I just have them on my little fingers, these little dot tattoos. I really like them, so I gave her one on every finger, which is one day with like what I wish my fingers would look like. <laughs> um, so that's kind of how she looks now that she's been repainted and revamped and I'm really pleased with how she came out. I feel like she looks a lot better even just from the side. She looks spookier. It gives her more of like a witch vibe as well. I did like the fortune teller vibe but it just gives her a bit more of a witchy feel. At the end of the day it is hashtag year of the witch. <laughs> now I have looked everywhere for batteries but I can't find any so I'm going to need to go to the shop but what I'll do is I'll put this back in um, and show you what she looks like lit up. Okay, Just take the bottom off, plug this little battery back in which is super fiddly. Okay, hopefully this will now work. We'll see. There you go. So once I've put batteries in, this is kind of the look that it will give. It does take three double A batteries. So I'll go put her somewhere dark and you can have the full effect of the repaint. Okay, so I'm just <laughs> at the bottom of the stairs because it's nice and dark. So just to show you, that's kind of how she looks. And if I turn my exposure down a little bit, you can see a bit better. That's kind of how it looks to the, the human eye. Maybe actually, hang on fiddling with my <laughs> camera settings yeah that's better so that's kind of how it looks to the human eye you can see the detail of her um, headdress slightly you can see her facial features um, and you can see like the outlines of her hands and stuff but not much else other than the ball which is obviously swirling in real life but I'm so happy with how she looks and I'm really glad that I did repaint her I did um, use acrylic paints um, for the whole of this project. If I was to do it again or do anything else <laughs> again like this, which I haven't done since last Halloween or perhaps the Halloween before, I definitely would um, <laughs> invest 
in some better paintbrushes because my paintbrushes are very old and they're really rubbish. Um, it just made getting the, the fine details quite hard. Like her eyeliner is slightly thicker than I wanted it to be, but it's the thinnest I could do. And some of the things like the dots I just did with bits of wire and plastic. So yes, that would definitely be a, a future purchase that would benefit me as an artist. But hopefully this gave you some ideas of how, if you've got this piece, you could jazz it up or even if you've got a piece that you like, or you see a piece that you like, but it's just not quite right. I loved this concept, I loved this idea. I just didn't really like the color, but actually it took me about an hour to paint, but now it's a piece that I'm super excited about. If I had seen this in the shop, I would have bought it with no hesitation. Um, it just, it had a lot of potential and sometimes when you're buying things it's looking for the potential and seeing and thinking, oh I could do something really well with that. It did cost me $12.99, I did get it from TK Maxx but I have seen it in Home Sense um, and yeah, I have painted lots of Home Sense and TK Maxx things before, didn't do much last year but definitely after doing this I've got a real <laughs> drive to do a bit more and even if it was like you liked her whole outfit but you wanted to give her more you know realistic eyes you want to give her makeup i really wanted to give her an eyebrow because <laughs> i thought she looked weird without an eyebrow um just something really simple can completely change your perspective and your feeling towards something so hopefully this helps some of you um thank you very much for watching thank you for everyone who responded to my vlog when i asked if you would like to see this i was really grateful for hearing your feedback so thank you very much for watching if you do have any questions comments Please leave them down below if it's sunny where you are. I hope you're enjoying the shade and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>